we've been having a lovely weekend. The sun has really come out this weekend, which has been glorious. And I've been spending a lot of time relaxing in the garden and reading. And I took all of Saturday off doing any filming or anything like that and just really relaxed. And that felt so nice. I've been reading a couple of books that are published by Girls Gone By Publishers and you may know that I run their Instagram account. So I've been reading a couple of books published by them because I want to do a post about them on their Instagram soon. And that's two books by Malcolm Savile who is a children's writer that I loved a lot. Um, I read his Lone Pine series growing up. His books were mainly published in the 1940s and 50s. The Jillies series, which is what I'm reading, were published, these two were published in the sort of late 1940s. The first in the series is Red Shank's Warning, and I finished this yesterday. And it was a really fun, quite summery read, even though it's set in the springtime. It had a very summery feel to it because it's set in Norfolk on the coast, the sort of north, north Norfolk coast. And it really made me want to visit the area. He writes about place so well. They're always a bit of an adventure story, sort of a Enid Blyton for older children kind of tale and here the children end up catching a group of art thieves so it's a bit silly in, in, in many ways but they're always quite fun reads and this one is really charming and I love the setting and learning a bit more about that part of Norfolk. I've never been along the coast in Norfolk and it sounds so beautiful and of course it's a bird watcher's paradise and birds, especially red shanks, really come into this story. So that was really fun to read. And then last night I started reading the second in the series, Two Fair Plats by Malcolm Savile. This is a completely different setting. It's set in London in the winter, just in a few days before Christmas, like the run up to Christmas. And it's full of sm of smog, you know, fog and smoke. And oh, it's really atmospheric. It would be a really good wintry read, but in some ways, it's also quite nice to read it in the summer when you're having lovely weather <laughs> and not feeling cold and there isn't horrible fog everywhere. So I'm enjoying this one so far too. So yes, I've been having just quite a nice relaxed uh, reading weekend so far, but I thought I'd tell you a bit about what I'm going to be up to today. It's quite a quiet Sunday but I am looking forward to going into Harrogate in a bit because as you probably know I really love Toast which is a women's clothing brand this is a toast dress that I'm wearing and I like their clothes because you can wear them for years you know they last so well and I really like the brand a lot and the values that they stand for. And there's a toast in Harrogate and what some toast shops offer is, I can't quite remember, they call it something specific, but I can't remember what they call it. But the idea is that anyone who has bought toast clothing and maybe wants to, you know, donate it or, um, not keep it anymore for whatever reason. You can bring in your old toast clothing items into a toast shop and exchange it for other people's old toast clothing. So in Harrogate this weekend, the toast are doing this. They're running a weekend where you're able to bring in your old toast items and exchange them for other old toast pieces if you want to. I think this is such a great idea. It's essentially a, a clothing swap and I think it's such a really like just such a good idea as a way to let your clothing have a whole new use of life, you know, encourage people to um, not continually buy new clothes but it's also a way that you can update and refresh your wardrobe with other people's sort of loved, pre-loved toast items. And I'm excited to go along. I've pulled out a few 
pieces, a couple of dresses that I do like, but the material wasn't right for me. I'm actually very, I'm one of those people who's very fussy about material. Like I hate anything too itchy feeling. And these dresses, they're more of a, almost like a kind of sacking type of material almost. Like they're quite a sort of harsh cotton and they just can sort of rub around my neck a bit and I, I don't like the feel of them. So I haven't even worn them barely at all. Um, so hopefully other people will love them. And I've got some wool trousers, for instance, that I felt in the end are a bit too kind of wide cut. And a couple of other things I've had for years and just think it'd be nice to have something a bit new if I see things that I like there. Or if my mum sees something that she likes, we're both going to go and have a look. So if there's something that doesn't really suit me but suits my mum, that would be great too. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that and hoping that there will be some pieces to, to choose some, some that might work for me. I think in London, in some of the toe shops, they offer this service all year round where you can sort of come in with your old toast clothes and they give you like a coupon or something and you're able to spend that coupon on, not on new toast clothing, but on these like pre-loved um, garments. So if you're in London, then do check this out. If you're a toast fan too, if you want to go through your wardrobe maybe and have a bit of refresh, you've got some things that you realise you never really wear, other people might love them and you can find something else. So I'm going to do that. I've got to actually make some lemon verbena tea now. I'll show you how I do this. It's one of my favorite drinks to have in the summer. And I use a sort of whole leaf lemon verbena and I put it into a sort of jug with a filter in it and you top it up with water, put it in the fridge, let it chill um, for a few hours. And so by this evening it should be ready to drink and it's just such a refreshing drink i love it so i'm going to go do that now and then we're going to pop into harrogate have a look around go to toast and yes hopefully have a really nice afternoon i'll bring you along so here i've got my toast clothing that i want to bring with me set up i'm just going to wrap them in tissue paper and pop them in the bag so i ironed um, the stuff this morning, I washed everything yesterday and ironed it this morning so it's ready to just go in the bag so I'm just going to wrap it up and do that now. Okay, so I've got everything wrapped up and ready to bring with us. So before we go to Harrogate, I'm just going to make the chilled lemon verbena tea so we can enjoy it later. You can see it's quite big leaves here. And I get the tea from Rare Tea Company. I'll link to it in the description box below. Looks like this. And you can buy some of their teas in Waitrose in the UK, but you can also order their teas online. I think the lemon verbena you have to order online. And Rare Tea Company is a great tea company. It was set up by a woman called Henrietta Lavelle, and she wrote this book, Infused Adventures in Tea, all about how she set up the company, about the teas that they make and the ones that she blends herself and also it's full of really interesting information on the history of tea, how to drink tea, the difference between green tea and white tea and black tea for instance and then herbal teas and also it's just stuff full of really interesting nuggets of information. If you're into tea then I definitely recommend this book. But it's also from Henrietta that I got the idea of making chilled teas, a bit like how you know um, cold coffee, like sort of pressed cold coffee was really in fashion 
at one point, I can't quite remember what they called it, something like cold pressed coffee I think, um, and it was really popular a few years ago, but you can also make tea in kind of a similar way, you just soak the tea for quite a few hours and you get a really delicious refreshing drink at the end of it and it's good for you there's no added sugar or anything like that it's not like iced tea in that way so I just put about that much in at the bottom and then I'm going to top this up with water just cold water And then, this is clever because you can see it has the filter sort of built in to the top and you just pop that on so when you pour the tea all of the leaves get caught by the filter. And this just goes into the fridge, you leave it in the fridge for I think up to sort of eight hours, something like that, but sometimes we don't leave it quite that long and it's still fine at least with the lemon verbena. I find that teas with really quite big leaves like the verbena work best because they're just caught by the filter better and somehow for a cold tea it just seems to work better. I like to use herbal teas, you know, not real teas for doing this kind of thing because it makes the drink really refreshing. It's not caffeinated then. We like to sit out in the evening when it's sunny and if you want something non-alcoholic, like you don't want a glass of wine or something, then this still feels like you're having a bit of a treat, drinking something nice. But it's really hydrating and refreshing and good for you at the same time. So I'm looking forward to enjoying this later. But mum's just come in. Sorry, <laughs> Hello. Oh, yeah. Hello, darling. I'm doing the Malawi lemon verbena. Yes. Oh, lovely. We'll have that tonight. Yes. So I'm looking in the fridge. forward to this. Thanks. <laughs> Pop it in the fridge for me. Yeah. And we then can show it later. Can't yeah, we? we'll show it to you later so you can get an idea of what it looks like. And then we're going to go off to Harrogate. I'm excited. Yeah. You get everything set up. Yes. Lovely. So we'll see you in Harrogate. Harrogate. I exchanged four things in the end. I took back one of my pieces, but I found four really nice dresses. One I've put on already. Yeah, go back a bit so we okay. can see it. Yeah, it's really stunning. I love it. I love the colours. Yeah. The pattern. I think it's yeah. So pretty. Such a pretty one. And then a, a couple that are more autumnal that we yeah. put away for autumn. And one other one that's quite summery but more for cooler summer days yes it's got yes. Long, longer sleeves but i thought we did really well to you be did. able to swap four things yeah absolutely lovely yes yeah, so i was really pleased and i got back i'm going to do some watering <laughs> thank you <laughs> and then um, we might go for a little walk to a nearby garden or something yeah we'll see okay all right <laughs>
And here's our lemon verbena drink. So the tea leaves have steeped in the water for quite a while. You can see that it's changed colour. And we're just going to pour it and enjoy the view and having a nice refreshing drink. It looks just like white wine. <laughs> You're happy. <laughs> <laughs> not well, not, not quite, quite the same. It's very, very nice. It's a refreshing drink. I really love it. Yes, it is lovely. Mm. Well, we're just going to sit out here and have a read. Yeah. I've brought out two fair plats, which I could well even be able to finish this evening, which would be good. Yeah. What are you reading? I'm reading Landscape in Sunlight. Yes. Landscape in Sunlight for Mum. Yeah. I love Elizabeth Fair. I haven't read this one yet. No, I'm excited to read it. Yeah, it's yeah. a really nice summery looking one, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think it's an August one. Oh, perfect yeah. then. That yeah. would be really nice. Yeah. So yes, we're going to have our chilled lemon verbena tea mm -hmm. <laughs> and enjoy a read. That's all right. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading vlog and we'll be back again on Friday with another video then but do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face that pops up on the screen but thanks so much for watching and see you again soon bye bye